what's going on YouTube? It's the Bushy Bear, and I'm back, and I'm bushier than ever. And right now, we got Liam Payne remembers meeting One Direction for the first time. Uh, interview. So I'm excited for this. Uh, oops, sorry. A little bit of behind the scenes, uh, I guess. Um, I also released the X Factor one today if you want to go check that out. And I also released my um, uh, reaction, true reaction on IGTV to their video today. And then uh, kind of a recap of ideas on uh, YouTube as well. If you check both of those out as well, I appreciate it. But let us get into the video. I'm actually going in to record another one. And if it's that cookies track, I might be giving you a call, Liam. <laughs> I, I'm not say, I, might, I might not play that one. Ten incredible years. Okay. We're getting into it now. Let's get it. So, um, absolutely phenomenal songs. Now, is there just one song that just holds a, an extra special place in your heart? I'm going to guess history. Like, for you, because obviously the fans listening right now, they have so many favourite 1D tunes, but what is the one for you that you're like, either this reminds me of a great time or, or the, I'm really proud of this one. There's a song called Once in a Lifetime. It's, it's really... I was wrong. I, I, I just assumed he was going to say history. Uh, but Not yeah. one of our biggest. And we've, we've never performed it live or anything like that, but it just really holds a special place to me. And it's mm. more in the lyrics, you know. Uh, it was like Once in a Lifetime, um, like everything's just, just right, that moment when everything's just quite right. And, and being in the band at points, it felt really safe and it felt a lot like that. Um, at a certain point. So for me, that's always been one that I like. If I'm really drunk and I'm playing One Direction songs on in the Uber on the way home, that's what I'll listen to. <laughs> I think for me, like there is a certain safety and familiarity. And so I, I bet for them, after being the group for so long, it was almost uncomfortable and scary to kind of go out on your own to see if you'll make it. Like, would they all make it? I think... There's nerves, but I also think the fact is that they had built such a fan base that they were going to be successful in solo career to some one point or another. They might not have, they might not ever reach that fandom, but uh, when he said like there was just some, we felt safe, and I, I, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about that. He's got a new Uber driver war stories about I wrote this one, yeah. this was me. I used to be a band, me. Uh, do you remember like the first impressions you had of like each of the boys? Oh, this is going to get juicy. It's going to get juicy. When you first got put together, do, do you remember that day where you just like, oh, here we go? Well, I mean, at first, I don't know why, but it was so confusing. We did watch it, and I think he was the one that said, no, we should take some time to think about it first. Um, so I think he might have had the most hesitation about it, but uh, that's interesting. I, I want to know, because I just saw it off of uh, their uh, X Factor video, and I, I'm excited to see his answer to this. confusing to me that Niall was from Ireland, because I just was thinking, how's this going to work? He's from like a whole <laughs> other country, like he's not even nearby. Like, how, how is this going to happen? That's and then I remember we had a conversation straight off the bat that was like, we decided that, that we would measure each other's height because that's why it would be in photographs of who would be in the middle. <laughs> I wonder if that's why he's like, let's take a second to think about this because it might work well for this show, but because one of the members lives so far away that it might not work after. That's, that's forethought. I didn't even think about that. And then now we're talking about- We would measure each other's height because that's why it would be in photographs of who would be in the middle. <laughs> Um, which, I mean, it's just like, you know, it's really, we were so young though, you know what I mean? You don't, I mean, you don't think, you think you know everything at the time, but, um, you know, and when we very first got together and went down to Harry's house to, um, to, to rehearse, we hadn't really got the heart to tell each other who should sing what bit or making like cutthroat decisions because everyone's trying to find their place. Yeah. So we all... Oh, that, that's another dynamic is like... Who makes the decisions, especially when you're a group and you're a new group, you don't want to be seen as the leader because then you're looked at as like the bad one. So it's kind of like we have to come together to make this group decision. How are we going to learn how to do it? And I think they did a good job at, at learning that because it, it definitely shows going to the who should sing what bit or making like cutthroat decisions because everyone's trying to find their place. Yeah. So we all just all want to shine. in unison, which was the most horrible thing you, I've ever heard in my life. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was crazy to be involved in this group of really rowdy boys. For me, I'd never really had that many like loud, like all my mates are quite quiet. 
Right. And then like Louis and Zane together in a room. And gee, I mean, you know, it just used to go off all the time. <laughs> I remember being in hotel rooms and plates are being thrown out the window. And <laughs> Jeez, that's, oh, there are party animals. That's fun to find out. I love this because you get to see the back, like what it was like from them. And I'm sure you guys have seen it all through the, the interviews, but I'm still new to One Direction. I'm a, a reactor or a reactioner reactioner um so yeah uh again thank you uh uh a dub uh one d for that um but yeah this is great down the stairs and you know it was really a crazy crazy time and a lot to get used to and for my head at least i was a bit too grown up in that sense i needed to kind of grow down and just have a little bit of fun because that's what it was all about and in the end that's what everybody you know, tied in with the band. It was more about this free, this freedom and having fun and like, oh, what yeah. would you do if you were in this position sort of thing? One thing that we've been looking back at, Liam, uh, we did a, a best of Capital Summertime Ball. And of course, you guys dominated that show. Um, I kind of wanted to watch all of the live that they did for it, watch party or whatnot. I didn't, I saw some of it, but not all of it. But uh, I probably will go back and watch that. Are there any sort of special memories for you of doing the Summertime Ball? Coming up to 10 years now, I realise how bad my memory is <laughs> because everything just blends into one big blur of stuff that we did. I mean, I've literally been caught out before. Honestly, sometimes it's so difficult because everything, everything kind of... This is his long answer to say, uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> looks the same from a certain angle at a certain point. So, you know, it, 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 we, we had so many different amazing shows and... and and it's so like it's like so although it sticks out in your mind as a special event, not so much for me. It's kind of like the long PC answer for all is always one of the best shows to play. I mean, yeah, you know, playing that home crowd, playing the O2 Arena, um, it was amazing. Because I don't think we could quite you quite done the stadiums then, had you? No, but you did play Wembley. You did play Wembley. Mm. If you play Wembley, see, this is what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, you've been to Wembley. By the way, you, by the way Liam, you, you have performed at Wembley Stadium in front of 90,000 people, yeah. <laughs> Coming back to, to One Direction and looking at it after 10 years, did you expect 10 years ago? Is this where you wanted to be? I was thinking about this the other day because I can remember in interviews, people would always be like, oh, where do you see yourself in 10 years' time? And it definitely was not here, <laughs> like 100%. It's, it's the most random thing, and I mean, you know, from my side, I can only say thank you, really, to all of our amazing fans for... And I want to echo that. Um, you guys are the best fandom that I've come into contact with so far on this YouTube journey. All of A lot of the fandom is great out there, but as far as 1D fans, and uh, so far Little Mix fans too, you guys are amazing. You're so inclusive, you're so loving you're so accepting of me as a reactioner watching these and being patient with me and it's it's an amazing thing and i thank you guys for that for putting us into this and you know for all of the the love it adore in one direction for all the love that's been since you know we've we've all gone solo and done our own thing i mean it's just amazing and, and to think that we've even i think there was some sort of record that we broke for each of us having a song in the top 40 in america yeah. or something yeah. you know, so or it might have been big i can't really remember but you, you can't take those moments for granted because they just don't happen. You know, seeing the worldwide trend starting from yesterday and whatever else, and and, and seeing that the love for, for us is, is still there. Yeah, it's still there, still strong. And uh, I found out some of the records and stuff that they broke, it's, they are the beat. I say, I mean, most people struggle to or better. hold a job for 10 years. It's crazy. So for me, I just feel so thankful to be here. When are we going to start hearing some new Liam Payne tracks? I, I want to I wanna be, be able to get some on the radio. I've been in and out of the studio um, the last few weeks, and there's a couple of songs that I quite like. Uh, so I'm actually going in to record another one this week. So hopefully uh, not too long. And if it's that Cookies track, I might be giving you a call, Liam. <laughs> I, I'm honest, I, might, I might not play that one. <laughs> Liam, we have scoured the internet, right? We have scoured everywhere. Okay, this is great. They're going to ask, like, questions or... Yeah, right? To try and find someone, quite frankly, brave enough to take on a very special edition of... Roman's Mega Hard Super Quiz. Okay, so maybe it's a One Direction quiz? Oh, it's a One Direction special. Oh, it's never happened before. <laughs> Katie, good morning. Morning. Good morning, morning Katie. Uh I'm going to fail this super bad. So terrible. Hey, I've got here, you've seen them live five times. Posters all over yeah. the room. That type yeah. of thing. 
<laughs> well, listen, Liam Payne has actually just left the chat and, and he said that you can tell us who's your favourite. So who is your favourite in One Direction? My favourite is Louis. Oh, um, okay. I love him. Burn. Them all. I do love them all, but yeah, Louis was my one. Oh, oh actually, Liam wasn't. Oh, you're here. still there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Katie. Sorry, Katie. <laughs> Liam, how do you think Katie's going to do? I think Katie is going to smash it. I actually think she'd do better than, than I would because my memory is like a sieve. Katie, you ready for round one? All right, I'm going to try, you guys. I'm going to try. You guys giving me so much information. I'm going to try. Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. Come on. Katie, today marks 10 years of One Direction. But what I would like to know, in what year did they form? So 10 years would make sense it's 2010. I feel like it's a trick question. No, I'm going to say 10 2010. years. 2010. Okay, one for one. Two. I would say quick maths, but it was no, it's easy. Pretty average maths. <laughs> yeah. One Direction's first single was "What Makes You Beautiful," but what I want to know, Katie, can you finish these lyrics? You're oh my goodness! Okay. You're insecure. Don't know what. Don't know what, what for. for. You're you're turning heads when you walk through the door. Uh -oh. Nice and easy, Katie. Katie, how are you feeling? You got, you got Liam Payne on the good. line. I was feeling good. <laughs> Liam, would you have known that one? Uh, just, <laughs> just about. Just. Luckily, it was my part in the song, otherwise I would not have had a clue. <laughs> in 2015, the boys took their on-the-road tour around the world. But what I want to know, in which Australian city did the tour start? Gonna be a guess, Melbourne. Oh God, um, Perth. Perth. <laughs> I don't know. Perth. Do I don't know. Perth. <laughs> I don't know. You have failed. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know that. I'm afraid it's the end of the road, Liam. Do you know what it was? Was it Melbourne? No. Oh, then maybe Sydney. Uh, it's Sydney. I don't know. I don't a long know. time ago. It's the main one. It's Sydney. Oh. So let's hear it for Liam Payne on Capital yeah. Break. But to my defense, it was the exact same answer as Liam Payne, so I'm counting that as a W for me. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, you guys. That was a lot of fun. I hope this doesn't get the B word. Uh, you guys get to see it. If not, it's going up on a, another platform. But uh, anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. It's not going to hurt me. Or you can give it a thumbs up because it's not going to hurt you. Uh, yes. So uh, if you're new, subscribe. I started my journey today uh, through One Direction and a little mix. And I think it will be a lot of fun. So I hope you join us on that ride. And I have to go get a nap in before I react to Taylor Swift, who is dropping an album at midnight. Anyways... Until next time, YouTube, smile like you mean it from the Bushy Beard.